Hey, Bob. How you doing? Great. How was the flight? All right. <sighs> just so you know, there's a problem with the fuel quantity sensor on the plane. Now, they'll fix it at Edmonton, so just convert it with the drip stick and you'll be fine. Okay. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I asked the maintenance management if we could have it repaired in Montreal when it was in Ottawa. That seems like they didn't have any spare parts here for the uh, FQIS. I think they'll just ship it over from another airline and stuff. I mean, it's a new aircraft after all. Mm-hmm. Though, well, that bird flies well. Well, don't want to bother you too long. I'll see you around. See ya. FQIS, ah? Uh. Fuel truck coming over. Stand by. All right. All right, um... Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Good. Reese Quintle, sir. Bob. Hey, you mind doing the fuel measurements? Yeah, sure. 1.77 pounds per litre, so 4,917 litres, Bob. Alright, I'll contact him and have that fueled up. Air Canada 143 with services to Ottawa and Edmonton is now boarding at gate 4. Please present your boarding passes at the gate desk and you will be on your way. Would you like some champagne? We hope you enjoyed our flight and thank you for choosing Air Canada. Air Canada Flight 143, cleared for departure on runway 36 right. Good day. Air Canada 147, cleared for takeoff, runway 36 right. Same to you. V1, rotate. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached our cruising altitude of 41,000 feet. We'll be coming by shortly to sell all our passengers our complimentary food and drink options served by our world's famous head chef. Hey, the pilot would like to give you a formal request to the cockpit. Hmm, really? Come in. Hey Robert, how you doing? Good, good. Here's Maurice. Hello. Mm -hmm. So this is the 767 cockpit? Yeah, it's modern. It's sleek. Got everything. Just the fuel indicators are broken, but I'm sure they'll be fixed up. Hey, look at that. See? I told you. Let me turn that off. Shoot, that ain't good. Maybe the left tank is low. Yeah, we gotta land. Now. Okay. Winnipeg Center, Air Canada 143. Winnipeg Center, Air Canada 143, go ahead. Um, we're gonna have to request direct to Winnipeg, we got ourselves a problem. <sighs> Air Canada 143, take position to direct to Winnipeg. Descent to flight level 060 at own discretion. Alright, changing the altitude. What the? Right engine is low. Hello? Hey, we're gonna be diverting to Winnipeg. Prepare for passengers for emergency landing. Any idea what we could do? I don't know. Lost left engine, grab the checklist. Ladies and gentlemen, due to issues with our aircrafts, we'll be preparing for an emergency landing in Winnipeg. Your cabin crew will come around to make sure your seal beds are fastened and train tables are up. We are trained by Air Canada for this types and situations. Eh? What the? Where the hell are my instruments? Air Canada 143, go ahead. Air Canada 143, we lost both of our engines. 143, yeah, we are calling medic. We aren't gonna make it to Winnipeg. Can we have a vector to the closest possible runway? Alright, we got all that. Stand by. Where they went, literally gone over there. G get the primary radar. Uh, 143, we lost your transponder. We're trying to find you on other radars right now. Can you put your items in the seat pocket, please? Thanks. When we say brace for landing, lean forward as you brace position so the plane ends at a complete stop. Found it. Okay. Air Canada 143, 65 miles from Winnipeg and 45 from Gimli. I mean, Gimli's got a long runway. We should go there. Okay. Uh, 143, are there any emergency vehicles at Gimli? Just a runway. Negative on emergency equipment. No tower and no info. 
Then we prefer Winnipeg. Okay, 143. Continue your current heading. Uh, Bob, we're gonna miss the runway by 15 miles. Okay, Winnipeg control, uh... How far from Gimli and the direction? 143. Air Canada, 143. 12 miles from Gimli. Heading 345. Um... Mm -hmm. Then we'll go Gimli. Air Canada, 143. Alright, we should be good. Excuse me. Lower the gear down. 143, 5 miles till touchdown. Roger. Field is in sight. We're too high, Bob, and too fast, too. I'm aware. Could we do a 360? No, we're too low for that. Well, I guess I'll slip it. I'm gonna just gonna slip it down till we almost down at the runway. Straighten it out there. Alright. Here we go! Oh, shoot. Hey Andrew, pass over that barbecue sauce. Got it! Daddy, I'm gonna ride my bike! Alright, have fun! Freeze, freeze for that thing! Come on! Go! Whoa, holy smoke, Bob. Pew. Evacuate, evacuate! Evacuate! Alright, let's go, get up! Passenger evacuation checklist. Passenger checklist. Fuel. Shut off. Cabin pressurized electric. Off. Checklist complete. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on, let's go guys. Get the fire extinguishers. Behind you. We got your back. An Air Canada Boeing 767 landed safely in Gimel, Manitoba on Saturday with 10 injuries and fortunately zero casualties. Any other news part on this incident? Yes, it is unclear how the plane ended up in such a state in the first place, and we do hear that an investigation is expected to start tomorrow. Alright, thanks, Pat. <sighs> Hmm, take some pictures, Will. Got it. Tom, go inside and explore the cabin. Alright. Huh? So this malfunctioned. Got the fuel indicator. Good. We'll send it for testing. Yeah, the plane did run out of fuel. There's barely anything left in this bad boy. And there was no leaking either. Hmm. What is this math? It's wrong. What? Yeah, take a look. You see, that this is the volume to kilos. There's also a volume to pounds. Why are they using both? Hello. Hi. So what happened? We fueled the bad boy up, then did a manual check. Did you do pounds or kilos? Kilos. But doesn't the 767 go by metric? Uh, shoot. The TCAA has announced what happened to Air Canada 143. The plane that ran out of fuel and landed safely in Gimel, Manitoba was due to a miscalculation of the fueling of the Boeing 767, where ground crew staff and pilots were not fully trained to convert from volumes to kilos, not pounds. It also recommends that Air Canada stop as extra parts in case of the malfunction in FQIS. Well, we could always appeal. Guess AC God knows that's still out of that one. But it's not justified, right? Good point. Ah, yes. Good old point.